You're listening to a sermon by Pastor Tosi Adjulare. Okay, so um, I'm prospering. That's what I'm taking as a theme for today. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. And I'm going to take my text from the very first psalm, the very first psalm, Psalm 1. Psalm 1. I'll run, run through briefly. Um, yes, incidentally, I remember when I was, when I was, you know, um, going to school, I remember this was one of the Psalms that my dad gave me. He gave me Psalm 1, gave me Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. He gave me some other uh, scriptures. And after I'd had my bath early in the morning, I read those Psalms, read those scriptures. I didn't quite understand it, but I just read. And I've come to understand that, you know, there are quite a number of things we teach our children that they may not understand, but it is sinking into their spirits. So this was one of his psalms. He said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law doth he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leave also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like chaff with the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment of sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. But the way of the ungodly shall perish. Now, um, you know, I've said many times that God is the master of art. God is the master of language. Um, so, and God is not flippant with words. So everything he says, you need to take note of. You know, when Joshua took over from Moses, um, God didn't talk to Joshua about um, RPGs. God didn't talk to Joshua about any armor tanks. He didn't talk to Joshua about any aerial, you know, um, attacks. He said, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You meditate upon it day and night. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. So when God speaks, you need to listen. Now, so it, the, the whole psalm, psalm has 150 psalms. The very first psalm starts with the word blessed. And I want you to take note of this. The very first psalm starts with the word blessed. It says, blessed is the man. Now, this actually means that you are not disadvantaged. Doesn't matter where you live. Doesn't matter what job you do. Doesn't matter where you, what your position is. It means you are not disadvantaged. You want to say that to yourself, I am not disadvantaged. Am not disadvantaged. Say it again, I am not disadvantaged. Am not. So and now the word blessed, the root of the word blessed, it, it means happy, straight, right, well-ordered. So the word blessed, it means your life is ordered by God. That's what it means. Another interpretation for that word blessed means empowered to succeed. So when somebody gives you a car, it's not, she has not really blessed you, she has just given you a car. Somebody gives you a house, you know, somebody comes to church and says, I was blessed with the house. No, you have been blessed, that's why the house came. You are blessed, that's why you are alive. So the blessing of God is an empowerment to succeed. So the first psalm, the whole psalm starts with the word that you are empowered to succeed. So it says empowered to succeed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Now, this actually gives the, the, the progression, um, it gives the progression for sin. The progression for sin, first of all, is walking in the counsel. Walking in the counsel means to you listen to advice of ungodly men. Uh, you may not really sit with them, but you listen to the advice and you walk with what they say. Um, I heard somebody say to me one day, he said, may somebody who is not as intelligent or as wise as you not advise you. So to walk in the counsel of the ungodly means to see, look at what they do, listen to what they say, and do likewise. So he said, the man who doesn't walk in the counsel of the ungodly is blessed. The, ne the second progression is, now when you begin to walk in the counsel of your godly, the next thing you begin to do, you begin to stand in the way of sinners. Now, it's, you know, um, so it's a gradual thing. It's something that comes one step 
after the other. So that, that's a deliberate act. The next one is a much more deliberate act. And it say, talks about sitting in the seat of this scornful. Truth is, when you hang around negative people long enough, you start to see things negatively. Yeah, when you hang around abusive people, you begin to abuse not only yourself, you begin to abuse other persons. You'll never be able to see things positively uh, when you hang around negative people. So success is more of a mindset. Okay, it's more of a mindset than anything. And if you always have a negative mindset, uh, life will always reward you negatively. So there's a need to walk with the wise. The Bible says, he that walks with the wise shall be wise. I've explained this to you many times. If he had said that he that walks with the foolish shall be foolish, it would have been good. But he said, he, the companion of fools shall be destroyed. That's what he says. So the company you keep matters a whole lot. The company you keep matters a whole lot. Now, Psalm 1, the first verse and second verse also lets us know that you first of all must be before you can do. What, unfortunately, what had been taught in churches in the last 20, 30 years, which had brought the bulk of the problems we have in church today, is that they tell you to do without showing you how to be. So he said, bless is the man. And now when I had to say that, and whatever he does shall do what? Prosper. Because he's blessed. So how are you blessed? Your relationship with God, your relationship with Jesus, this is what puts you at the position where you are blessed, such that you are not trying to show forth. You are not trying to show anything. You are just living your life. And the Bible says, you know what it says? It says, and this sign shall follow them. So I've said many times, when you see a man of God, um, that signs are going before, there's something wrong somewhere. So you should walk into the house of somebody who is sick. You don't know he's sick. Just shaking him, he gets well. Somebody who is demon possessed should come around you without even knowing anything happened. Because he came around you, he gets delivered. Those are signs following. So it should be, it should be you know, a natural thing. Okay, so the quality of your life, like I said, is largely determined by the people that you associate with physically and by proxy. The people that you sit down with, the people that you listen to, the people whose music you listen to, the people whose messages you listen to, the people who influence you. Today we have what is called social media influencers. So the people who influence you, they determine what happens to your life and this is very very important okay uh so you cannot expect to have a positive life i've said this if you hang around with cursed people you cannot expect to have a blessed life if you hang around with cursed people if you hang around with people who believe so much in generational curses we know these things exist okay but in house of david we understand that the power of god is much more than any demonic power anywhere Okay, so when you hang out, so somebody who, I, I told you one story one day, uh, it was a tough time for me, so for a couple of months, and a particular time, and I was asleep around three o'clock. Then I, I had a heat on my body, and I began to pray. I began to pray, I prayed. So when I woke up in the morning, my second daughter, you know, slept beside me. This was like some eight years ago. She now said, Daddy, did I hit you when I was sleeping? I say, yeah. <laughs> Do you get my point? Because I was in, some, in the middle of some serious battle. So somewhere in my mind, something told me that something touched me from outer space. It was my daughter, and I was praying. I thank God I didn't bind. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, you need to believe much more in the presence of God in your life than in the presence of any curse around you. For as a man thinks in his heart... So is he. And I want you to understand also that no man leaves you the same. Your associates either increase you or they decrease you. They either add to you or they subtract from you. They either multiply you or they divide you. Nobody, no human being, whether it's a man of God or no human being leaves you the same. And you see, we all need to be conscious of who we company with. You need to be able to look at your life. Where am I? So after having associated with this person for the past three months, six months, has my life increased? Has it come down? You need to look at that and know how to position yourself. So you need to be deliberate about your company. I've said many times that friendship is not by force. It is by choice. It is not by force. It is 
by choice. Your mental and spiritual capacity is largely influenced by the mental and spiritual capacity of your friends. And I've said this many times, let God be your best friend.